working on the 2007 Chevrolet Silverado the the light socket burned out let me show you you see that the light socket burned out now what caused that uh, I'm not sure probably maybe water got down into it and shorted it out I'm not sure but what I'm going to do is replace it, replace it with a new one. What I'm going to do is cut the wires, strip them back, solder the wires back together, put a little heat shrink on it. Make it a permanent repair. Got the replacement here. Got it from O'Reilly's uh, Doorman 645626. Light socket here. Comes with some uh, some uh, butt connectors. Maybe they are heat shrink type. We shall see. So basically what I'm going to do is tie each wire back into this corresponding spot. Because these wires right here are all white. And we got a blue, brown, and black. So I'm just going to splice them back together in the same spot they came out of. While I got my soldering iron heating up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, strip my wires back. Go ahead and twist the ends. Cut some of this excess off. really don't need all that So my blue is going to be on my left, brown in the center, black. I'll take this, hold on just a second, let me put my heat shrink on there. I'm going to twist these wires together.
position to where I can solder it and not cause other problems. I guess we're gonna have to leave it right here. Take it back a little bit. Go ahead and uh, load up my soldering iron here. Yeah, need to get me a new soldering iron. This one has seen better days. It doesn't take that much to solder the wires together. Now, before I got too far ahead of myself, I wanted to test out my repair. And then, as of right now, everything is working fine. Pretty good deal. Pretty simple. I mean, you know, less than, what, 10 minutes? Go ahead and heat shrink these. Splice back together. Got my heat gun. Gonna cover these up. Make sure no no moisture or anything gets to it. Consider that a, a fix. Simple. Didn't take much time at all. Feed this wire back into this loom. We'll give it back to the owner. As you can see, got it back together. 
Everything's working fine. Now, I'm not sure what caused this to burn up. I'm not sure. But I would imagine moisture got in there, shorted the socket out. It's a good thing that we caught it early because it could have could have caused a vehicle fire, vehicle electrical fire. Mm. Interesting. It has a gasket on here. I'm not sure how the moisture got in there, but it did. Something got in there to short it out. Not a, not a bad repair. It's pretty simple. Uh, didn't take me no more than 10 minutes to knock it out. Shouldn't have any more problems. I chose not to use these right here. Uh, just past experience, they give intermittent connections and just kind of problematic. So I chose not to use these. Um, I believe what I did there, some more permanent fix and shouldn't have any intermittent connections or anything like that. I mean, these are not a bad idea. I would, I mean, if you're in a, in a bind and you don't have access to a solder and iron, you gotta use what you got. And these will work just fine. I mean, and these probably could work fine, be a permanent fix. It's just my experience in the past with buck connectors or anything of the sort. They can cause intermittent connections and other problems. So I chose to, to solder the wires and run my own heat shrink over the wires. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. Please share this video with someone else that would benefit from the information. And always, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks again.